I had a lot of good memories from last year. I had a heat, a three-man heat with uh, Ace Bucking and Owen Wright. It was a really good heat. The waves were super ripple, pretty much as good as the right gets at lowers. I lost that heat, but it kind of got me focused again, and I just readjusted. Fortunately for us, with the new format, well, you know, he gets to live another day. Uh-oh, looks like well. that. With two minutes to go, Chris Davidson has not shown up. You know, that heat, unfortunately, where Davo was sick and wasn't able to surf, and I actually had to surf lowers completely by myself, which was pretty special. Looks as though Kelly Slater will get a 30-minute heat all alone. It felt like a nice warm-up for me to get my feet back on the board and get my confidence up, and then I got through Owen and, and um, got through Mick, and uh, then I had beaten the final. For the 2010 Hurley Pro, the final is getting ready to go in the white. Kelly Slater in the blue, B Derby. And he goes to the air, pulls it off, one more. Tim Derby just behind him, here he yeah. is behind, he's going to throw it up. Come on, B, hang in there, buddy. Oh. Oh. And Kelly Slater, the nine-time oh, world champion, oh. is in he's the in bat. The he's coming out! Yeah. I've surfed there for... God, almost 30 years now, 25 years, and I've had a couple little tubes at lowers, but never been spit in a barrel at lowers. And to have that happen in the final is um, pretty remarkable. It's crazy to think that 20 years ago, Kelly Slater just burst onto the scene and uh, and basically took the world by storm. Here we are, 20 years later, best surfers in the world, and Kelly Slater is still holding it down. You know, the contest has been sort of the place to demonstrate, I guess, the things I've learned out here. I don't know, I just, I don't, you know, sometimes you have a deeper connection with the place, and that might sound kind of corny, but I feel like I have a little more.